Ivan Kutrup congratulates Prince Harry and Meghan Markle nearly three weeks after engagement. First daughter Ivan Kutrup is sending her best wishes to husband and wife to be Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, though her belated congratulations have critics questioning whether she's actually trying to score an invitation to the royal wedding for her and husband Jared Kushner. On Friday, the 36-year-old special assistant to President Donald Trump tweeted out love for the couple, who announced their engagement on November 27. Wishing Meghan and Prince Harry a lifetime of love, laughter and happiness together, she wrote over the course of two tweets, while also sharing an article that Harry and Meghan had chosen May 19 as their wedding day. I have no doubt that this couple will do extraordinary things, both individually and collectively. Congratulations. While her words appeared supportive, many replied that she was simply trying to score an invitation to the nuptials. You know this won't get you invited to the wedding, right? One user responded. Who boy. It's so transparent that you're practically begging for a royal wedding invite. Not gonna happen, princess, said another. It remains unclear whether or not the first daughter or her famous family will be invited to the royal wedding. A spokesperson for the royal family declined comment to people. Markle appears to think highly of Trump having written about her admiration for the mother of three on her blog The Tick back in 2014. Staggeringly beautiful, no question, but so incredibly savvy and intelligent that she not just carved a niche for herself under her father's famed Trump notoriety, she has undoubtedly created her own empire, Markle wrote in the blog post, which also included an email interview with the businesswoman. It's so easy to knock the girls who come from privilege to assume they rested on their laurels and garnered accolades simply by being fancy from the womb. But I always remember Ivanka being different, she wasn't dancing on tables as a teenager or releasing pop albums, Markle added. She wasn't running amok publicly, swearing and being smacked with DUIs. Instead she was graduating from the Wharton School Kabod, by my at launching the Trump Hotel collection, and building her own brand. Her piece included a vow that she would get together for drinks with Trump the next time she was in New York. This much I know, when we have drinks, I will make sure I order whatever she does, because this woman seems to have the formula for success and happiness down pat, Markle said. It seems Markle's admiration does not extend to Ivanka Trump's father. The actress spoke out against the then-Republican presidential candidate in an interview on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore in May 2016. It's really the moment that I go, we film suits in Toronto and I might just stay in Canada, she said, when asked if the momentum surrounding the 71-year-old former Celebrity Apprentice host could be stopped, the Independent reported. I mean come on, if that's reality we are talking about, come on, that is a game changer in terms of how we move in the world here. Markle also called Trump divisive and misogynistic, pointing to female voters. I think it was in 2012. The Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. She said. That's a huge number and with as misogynistic as Donald Trump is and so vocal about it, that's a huge chunk of it. You're not just voting for a woman if it's Hillary Clinton because she's a woman, but certainly because Donald Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting. Harry, meanwhile, had met Melania Trump at the Invitos Games in Toronto in September during her first solo foreign trip as First Lady. Wearing a black and white dog tooth tea or suit, Melania, 47, was all smiles as she shook hands with Harry and posed for photographers in the Yorkville East Conference Room of the local Sheraton Hotel. The two then sat on cream-colored leather seats with the respective flags for each of their countries behind them and a white orchid sitting on a table between them, briefly chatting in front of pool reporters. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Harry, in a navy suit with a crisp white shirt and maroon tight, told the first lady, who was leading the U.S. Delegation for the multi-sport international event Harry created specifically for wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel.